Hello, my name is Benny, and some of you know that I like to spend my time outside, especially out in nature. But sometimes inside is also special because it gives me a chance to go inside myself, inside my mind and inside my heart. Inside my house is where I keep all the ordinary and precious things I collect and most of the art I make. But when I'm inside, I often find myself looking out the window. The window becomes a kind of frame that turns the outside into a picture. I always get excited and curious looking out a window. And so have many artists throughout time. Many artists have shared my fascination with windows and still life objects, like the brilliant colors and playful forms and patterns of the French artist Henri Matisse. His different painting styles invite the viewer to experience the changing world inside and outside a window and the fantastic and multicolored view of Paris by the Jewish Russian artist, Marc Chagall, overflows with small surprises. The paintings of the Belgian surrealist artist, René Magritte, never fail to amaze, like this mind-bending still life with a vision opening up to land, sea, and sky. I've always been enthralled by the simple patterns expressive mood, and colorful flat forms of the American painter Marsden Hartley, and the soft atmosphere in the paintings of the Israeli artist Ruven Rubin. Finally, the American artist George O'Keefe redefined still life by imaginatively floating objects midair against the vast desert landscape she called home. It's time to create your still life. But what is a still life? A still life is just what it sounds like. Painting of one or more objects that don't move. They stay still. And when something stays still, we can really look at it very carefully and fully. Enjoying all the shapes, textures, colors, and even the stories that objects can tell us. Let's begin. Walk around your house and see what you can find, just like I'm doing here. It could be anything, a bowl of fruit, a bottle, a toy, and something from nature. Consider objects of different shapes, sizes, textures, and colors. Arrange what you've collected one way, then another way, until you feel satisfied with your composition, which means how everything is put together in an interesting way. I'm starting with a drawing before I begin painting so I can better understand how my still life fits together with the window. Now it's time to set up my easel, canvas, paint, palette, brushes, water, and a paper towel. I could start by drawing with a pencil on the canvas, but I like just starting straight with lightly colored paint, which means I add a lot of water. That way, it will be easier to paint over with deeper colors when I'm ready. I use the palette to mix colors that I like. I paint a little bit here, and a little bit there, and slowly the painting comes together. 
As I work, I use deeper colors and darken areas where there are shadows and create little highlights with a bit of white where the light is shining brightest. Every once in a while, it's important to step back and look at your painting from a distance. It's also good to paint and come back to it on another day. That way you can see it with fresh eyes. While looking out my window, I had a surprise visitor, a little yellow bird. I think I'll add her to my painting. She moves too fast, so I'm going to use my memory and imagination. When you've added all the details that you want and you're happy with what you see, you are done. Let the paint dry, hang your painting up on the wall, or display it on the easel. I wish you happy painting.